All right. In this one, we have some some small squares and we have some circles. And it's not going to to be much of a surprise that in the solution we're going to have a full checkerboard. Nevertheless, we can get some hint about how the action is, is taking place or in which direction by considering how the checker spot fills out. So um, let's draw a checker spot. Yeah. This is our square and then we have we divide it up. And first up here it, it starts empty. Then if we go right we fill out the first square here and when we go right again we fill out this one and then if we go to the next row and start over from the left we fill out this one compared to those two that are already filled up here so that's this one then we add this one and then we go from here to here and we add this one and we change row again and add this one and then we add this one and finally here we add this one just to erase all confusion we start here and go like this and then we go like this and then like this Anyway, the action is, is going from top left and then like this to bottom right. In the first uh, picture we have two circles and an idea here is to, to regard them as moving to the right and changing rows once they get to the, to, to the end of each line. So we have two circles moving right, that's our our theory anyway. So let's look at that. Let's look first at the front circle here. It's solid, then it moves right over here, it's still solid, and then it moves right again, so it changes row, so it ends up here. So it's here and then it moves right again and then ends up here and here it's not solid then we can try and keep on moving it moves right so it's here but it's hidden by the box and then it turns up here and now it's solid again then it moves further right here it's still solid and then it moves into the box and then when it comes out over here it's either empty or solid. Let's look at the, the last one. Here it's empty then, then it moves into the box and when it turns up again it's solid. Then we go further right and then here we are hidden and now our theory is that when it comes uh, goes into the box, it changes uh, whether it's it's solid or it's empty. So if it's solid here, then once it goes in here, it's empty. Then it moves to the right, so that's down here. And if it was empty here, then it's supposed to be solid here. And then when it moves right from this box to this box, it turns up here and now we see that it's solid. Then it moves here and it turns up empty again. So if we move right from this position, then we get to the next row and that would be here and there is no color change going on so it would be empty. Everything checks out. It goes from solid through the box and comes up into here. The front one, the blue one 
and the same applies to the red one and the trigger part is here it's solid then it moves into the box where it turns empty then it moves to this position into the box and it turns solid and it comes out solid in the next position so our solution is h two empty ones